gusto niyo po ba yung best and worst namin lahat? Um, ang max ko po ba yata ay umabot ng 36 or... 36 more. hours straight? Yes, palipat-lipat well, ng location. 36 hours? Opo. Ano ito, TV or shooting? TV po. Walang pahinga? Walang tulog? Sa, ang magiging pahinga nun ay kung halimbawa bumaklas, travel, kasi... Uh, depende po yun. I think I've experienced that to my experience. You have a 36 hours smart artista. Artista. Artista lang. So yun. Ako po yun. So, artista 36 hours. What more yung mga, mga crew? Exactly. Mga production designer. Mas matagal yun. Ang dating nakagawian ay iiwan na natin sa nakaraan. 36 hours is a... Uh, Spot check. Ang bayad sa inyo isang araw? Yes po. Ang inang yan. Ang nangyari kay dito, Eddie, natisod lang eh. Dahil because maraming mga kable. But that's considered as a minor accident. Kasi pag sa crew lang nangyari yun, minor lang yun. Dahil si Eddie Garcia na natisod, eventually namatay, naging major accident. Tama? Is it possible for us to discuss it right now? Why are we going to put put under the law the tripartite council doon pa lang pag ano doon pa lang di-discuss na ano anong mangyayari sa mga senior citizen kung kung ilang oras sila magtatrabaho we become a bit more flexible the goal here is that each person should work a maximum of 16 hours doon sa binanggit mo kanina sa number 3 samot sa mga problema sa pay slip kawalan overtime at night differential pay I so, think even 10 suppliers Yung bawa, naka 16 hours sa Tirso Cruz Tapos meron, meron pang isang eksena na, na hindi pa natatapos so, eh, Gusto nang umalis si Tirso Cruz kasi 16, 16 hours na Tapos pakikiusapan ng producer, baka pwede yung isang eksena pa Eh kung mag-walk out yung artista, paano? Hindi nabitin Di ba? So, pag nilalagay natin sa batas, 16 hours, at pag umalis ang, pag natapos ang, pag nandun na yung, pag nakapagtrabaho na isang artista na 16 hours, obligado na silang umalis, unless pakiusapan sila ng producer. Kaya yeah, meron mga artista ganun, pag sinabi sa batas, 16 hours, aalis na sila. Regardless kung meron pa silang big scene or whatever. Ako po si Don Dantes. Kasama ko po si Isa Colsado, kumakatawan sa Actor, League of Filipino Actors. Isa pong sec-registered na organisasyon na binubuo ng 150 active members na kasalukuyan pong nagtatrabaho sa larangan ng pelikula, television, entablado at digital media. Gusto po namin magpasalamat na umabot na tayo ng ganito. Ganito po kalayo sa panukalang ito. Patunay po na talaga kapag tayo ay nagkakaisa, eh makabuluhang mga layunin ang na nasasagawa. We come here today with a focused sentiment. We acknowledge the interrelated roles that each critical sector in the industry assumes. The ultimate objective is neither personal nor selfish as we stand to maximize artist productivity and overall welfare of the workers across the board. That way, from a social and economic standpoint, lahat po ng mga industry participants including workers, Artists and employer producers stand to gain much to the satisfaction of our nation as a whole. Mga kasamahan po, as co-creators in the art of storytelling, we passionately reiterate our call for the implementation of effective and responsive labor laws and regulations. Ito pang mga measures nito are essential to ensure not only optimal performance but also to safeguard the physical and mental well-being of our dedicated workforce. The timely laws we endorse encompass contractual reliability, rationalized wages and benefits, work hazard prevention, thoughtful consideration of the work environment, and reasonable limitations po sa working hours. We have submitted po our detailed position paper, but please allow me to run down the salient points for the purpose of the discussion. Una po, regarding working hours and work uh, and rest period, we stand united in advocating for the regulated working hours, supporting an 8 to 12 hour work period exclusive, exclusive po of meal breaks and a maximum allowable working day of 16, 16 hours. This aligns with the Interguild Alliance's 
a proposal and excludes minors and seniors who must adhere to specific limitations. Pangalawa po, on rest periods, we concur with the proposed 10 to 12 hour rest period with a minimum of 10 hours for lock-in shoots as determined by the Tripartite Council. Thirdly, we are thankful uh, for the strengthened inclusion of the OSH or Occupational Safety Health Requirements and the need for OSH officers on set ensuring a healthy working environment. And fourthly, Actor places a strong emphasis on mitigating sexual harassment within our industry by formalizing measures in contracts to respect actors' boundaries. This includes the establishment of intimacy coordinators, um, strict reporting mechanisms, and clear contractual language. We also propose the creation of an easily accessible help desk to assist industry workers in addressing such issues and support the inclusion of a penal provision to enhance accountability. And lastly po, we champion performers' rights to fair remuneration and we fully support the establishment of a tripartite council as outlined in the existing bills. Um, this council, we believe, is pivotal in fostering collaboration and ensuring the overall well-being of workers in the industry. It also provides a platform for industry stakeholders, including workers, producers, and even government representatives to collectively address the peculiar, the very peculiar safety concerns, labor conditions, and industry standards. Together, we can strengthen our industry, ensuring it thrives habang pinaprioritize natin ang welfare of all those who contribute to its success. Bilang pong uh, worker artist, wholeheartedly po, united po kami in the goal to raise the quality of our industry even further, Mr. Chair. However, we need to start by lifting each other up because we believe that we all share a common destination. And with the success of the entertainment industry in mind po, we highlight the value of establishing the right standards and safeguards to govern it. And by that, we expect the delivery of captivating performances that breathe life into the stories we tell. Because in the long run, po, we can also expect sustainability and growth in the industry that makes ours truly world-class. It is our hope for us to strike a harmonious balance between creative output and the well-being of all the performers for the growth and success of the industry and our nation's awareness. Actor po and uh, all our stakeholders are very grateful, uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Senator, and honored for the opportunity to be heard in the process of developing these bills. We pledge our commitment and assistance in, uh, in seeing that these bills are enacted into the Eddie Garcia law. The Eddie Garcia law would not just ensure safety in the workplace, but confer to all workers in front and behind the cameras a dignity fitting to the industry we serve, the industry where Eddie Garcia spent most of, most of his life. If we cannot get our acts together in the movie industry, we cannot achieve anything here. That is why, uh, sana magkaisa na kayo, yung mga breakaway group, breakaway group daw, kasi sabi ni Madam Imelda Papin, who is the, I think, who is the president of uh, the CAP, bakit merong isang grupong aktor, bakit hindi kayo magsama? Sabi, breakaway group daw kayo. Can you please comment on that? Ah, uh, kayo raw ay yung mga yung mga members daw ng actor, mga class daw, mga matataas yung, yung daw uh, mga members nila, medyo uh, hindi masyadong sikat. Um siguro uh konting kontekso lang po kung paano na buo actor. Um nabuo po kasi yung actor nung height ng pandemic, nung panahon nung na hindi namin alam kung anong mangyayari sa industriya, kung anong gagawin namin. Uh, and we just started with a small community of actors na kami-kami nag-uusap. May mga common may mga common beliefs kami, may mga common aspirations. And in that moment, sabi namin, sige, bakit hindi natin itagawin itong grupo na to for our community who are really very active uh, presently. Um, hindi lang naman to, uh, sa mga issue na ganito ang, ang layunin ng, ano, ng, uh, ng actor sa pagbuo ng organisasyon, meron din kaming mga layunin katulad ng pagtatayo ng mga social enterprise. So, my point is, may specific needs po bawat isang grupo. And yung sa amin po, uh, yung sa grupo namin actor with 150 members, um, ito po yung isang mechanism. Many members? 150, 150 po. Compared to 1,000 plus daw sila. Yes, mm. um, 
Pero ang, ang gusto ko rin pong i-stress dito ay yung position po na ibinigay namin while I, I agree and I believe that we should be under one industry. Lahat po iisa lang gusto natin. Um, whether masunod po yung position namin or not, gusto rin po namin talagang ibahagi yun dahil yun po ang feedback ng aming members. Yun po ang uh, gin ginawa namin through proper consultation with them at yun po yung resulta ng mga na-experience nila currently on the ground. Dahil very peculiar po yung ating industriya, marami pong nagbabalik bago every week uh, every day kaya ito po yung ano ito po yung basis ng aming position na na ibinibigay ngayon but of course um, we agree na talagang dapat naman under one industry po tayo pero may iba-ibang interest din po kasi ang bawat grupo but and i also want to encourage kasi hindi lang naman po marami pa pong grupo ang hindi organized like the makeup artists um, and many many uh, different uh, groups within the whole industry Kagaya po ng mga exercise na ginawa namin with the IGA, napakarami makabuluhan ng mga ideas na, na lumabas para sa development ng buong sector. And we are very much open to collaborate with all uh, the existing, ano, existing groups, again, under, the, under one um, intention and goal uh, to unify and to uh, um, further develop the industry and push it further. Ipina Ipinapaabot ng mga manggagawa sa entertainment industry, panginahin, mga manggagawa sa mga produksyon sa telebisyon at pelikula, ang pagbati sa mga senador at mambabata sa paghahapag ng mga isyong kinahaharap namin. Ipinapaabot rin namin ang kauspusong pasasalamat sa mga bumuo ng punukalang batas na pinamagatang an act protecting the welfare of workers or independent contractors in the film, television, and radio entertainment industry. Kasama na rin ang iba pang mga bersyon nito na pinaniniwalaan naming magiging susi sa tuloy-tuloy na pagpapasa ng mga batas na magbibigay proteksyon sa aming mga karapatan at kagalingan. Ang mga manggagaw sa telebisyon at pelikula na pangunahing nakasalang sa pinakamahihirap na mga trabaho upang maghatid ng mataas na kalidad ng mga produksyon para sa promosyon ng ating lokal na sining at kultura. Kami ay mga gaffer, Lutrisyan, lightsman, cameraman, mga karamihan crew at staff, work department, setmen, utility, drivers, at iba pa na nasa likod ng mga produksyon. Marami sa amin ay hapong-hapo sa mahigit 24 oras na pagtatrabaho sa tuwing mayroon produksyon. Marami din sa amin, sa kabila ng napakahihirap na kalagayan sa trabaho, ay tumatanggap ng sahod na napakababa kumpara sa oras na aming inilalaan sa pagtatrabaho. Sa kabuuan, ang nakikita naming pinakamalaking usapin sa kinahaharap ng mga manggagawa sa entertainment industry ay ang kawalan ng sustinibong trabaho. Halos lahat, kung hindi man lahat, ay biregular ang trabaho Di regular ang trabaho at lagi may panganib na mawala ng hanap buhay sa kabila ng napakal napakalaking papel namin sa promosyon at papalaganap ng lokal na kulturang Pilipino sa pamamagitan ng mga produksyon ng mga pelikula at taba sa telebisyon. Madaling akalain na mataas ang sahod dahil aabot sa isang libo hanggang tatlong libo kada araw ang kinikita. Ngunit sa kabilang banda, Nasa tatlo hanggang apat na araw kada linggo lamang ang trabaho na ang kapangian ay mahahabang oras ng trabaho na umaabot ng anim na po hanggang 24 oras o higit pa bawat araw. Narito pa ang ilang mga punto para mas mailara, mailarawan namin ang aming mga kalagayan. Isa, Mapanganib na katangian ng pagtatrabaho tulad ng pagbubuhat at pag-operate ng mabibigat ng mga equipment para sa set, exposure sa mga high voltage na wires at generators, exposure sa mga hazardous materials na kailangan sa set, na sa kabila nito ay walang hazard pay ang mga staff na nakatoka sa mga ito. Pangalawa, ang freelance na katawagan ay nagpapalabnaw sa relasyong employee-employer. Sa madaling sabi, maliban pa sa kawalan ng katiyakan sa trabaho, hindi rin malinaw ang mga pananagutan dahil hindi definido kung sino ba ang mayor na employer ng mga manggagawa. Pangatlo, samot sa ring mga problema sa payslip, kawalan ng overtime at night differential pay. Pangapat, 
kawalan ng mga panginahing serbisyo tulad ng SSS, pag-ibig, PhilHealth at iba pa. Panglima, diskriminasyon sa iba't ibang antas tulad ng verbal abuse sa mga low-level employees, sa mga kababaihan at LGBTQIA+, at iba pang forma ng abuso. Hindi namin na mas maging malinaw ang definisyon ng employer o principal dahil ito ang pangunahing magtatakda ng mas malinaw na pananagutan sa bawat partido. Sa section 4 ng definition of terms, makikita namin hindi ito malinaw na nakasaad. Sa kabuuan, ang employer o principal ay ang management ng production house at suppliers na siyang pangunahing nagha-hire at mapapasahod sa mga manggagawa kung kaya't nasa kanila rin ang pa pananagutan na pinagaan ang kapakanan ng mga manggagawa tulad ng pagpapasahod ng tama, pagtitiyak ng makataong workplace at pagtitiyak ng mga serbisyo at benepisyo. Ang mga employee naman o sa madaling sabi ay mga stakeholders ng panukalang batas ay ang mga sumusunod. Directors, assistant directors, cinematographers, cameramen and camera operators, assistant cameramen, focus pullers, DIP, script continuity, production designers, setmen and carpenters, art department, art director, drivers, hair and makeup, prosthetics, wardrobe, production assistants, writers, stuntmen, actors and background actors, medics, light crew, gaffers, key grip, editors, colorists, sound recordists, sound designers, boom operators, security officers, utilities, location managers, at lahat ng mga manual laborers at iba pang mga pinapasahod ng mga production, production houses at suppliers. Ang inisyatiba namin na magpasa ng position paper ay nasa, nasa diwa ng pagmamagandang loob at pakikipagtulungan sa lahat ng mga grupo at individual dahil nais naming pagandahin ang kalagayan sa pagawa upang mas makapaghatid ng magagandang palabas at produksyon. Umaasa kaming ang lahat ng mga pagsisikap na ito ay magsisilbi sa interes ng mga manggagawa. Malaking bagay ito hindi lamang para sa aming kapakanan kundi sa kapakanan ng aming mga pamilya. Ang aming trabaho ay naging malaking parte na ng buhay namin dahil dito napaaral namin ang aming mga anak, natustusan ng arawang gasto sa bahay at iba pa. Doon sa binanggit mo kanina sa number 3, samot sa aring mga problema sa payslip, kawalan overtime at night differential pay. Uh, both SSS and the uh, employer principal producer and the self-employed person himself or herself has a role po, uh, Mr. Chair, your honors, in um, registering with SSS and paying contributions accordingly, Mr. Chair. Maluwanag yun. Feel health, Ed. Feel health. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, your honor. It's the same principle. Uh, the actors, actresses, and other in the film industry, in the TV industry, they are considered to be independent contractors or uh, self-paying individuals. So they are required to be uh, members of PhilHealth and they will contribute their own uh, premium contribution to PhilHealth as independent contractors. Pag-ibig. Um, Mr. Chair, for Pag-ibig Fund, gano'n din po. Uh, yun pong ating mga uh, kasamahan po do sa film, movie, television, uh, and radio industry po na hindi po sila formally employed ay uh, uh, pwede po mag-register mag po sa Pag-ibig Fund bilang self-employed uh, individuals po. Uh, pag self-employed po kasi po, yung employer-employee uh, counterpart, sila po yung magre-remit po at magre-register. Uh, yung naman pong nasa formal uh, sector, uh, ang kom kompanya po, o yung kanyang pinagkatrabuhan, ang siya po magde-deduct ng employer share at magre-remit ng employer share at sa Pag-ibig Fund po. So, gawin ni Coco Martin 12-hour taping and when I ask him if it is applicable to the movies, sabi niya, yes, it is applicable. Kung kaya niya 12 hours, di mas mabuti. But I don't think it... 
might not sit well with the producers. Yeah. Chair, Mr. Chairman, um, yes, um, each production is different um, and each setup is different. For instance, in some soap opera productions, they can have, they can have two to three units running at the same time which maximizes the productivity. But in film, usually it's just one unit that's running. So if we have, say, seven days to finish a film and you only have 12 hours to finish it, that really limits the, the creative output of your product. Um, we also note that each, each director who ultimately is the leader of each production uh, has different ways of doing things. Some directors really come a lot prepared, some directors are a bit more on the fly, but the output is still like this quite good, you know, quite the same. So as producers, we need to give leeway for that. So we cannot restrict everybody to say and just say that, oh, you prepare better and then you finish in 12 hours because we're not in a manufacturing industry where every product is the same. Each product is different. And there has to be that creative freedom for directors to do their jobs with enough leeway for them enough buffer for them to change their minds, you know, do something a bit better, you know, spend more time on something. Plus, uh, as we no noted in our last discussion, uh, Ch Mr. Chairman, each genre is also different. There are, some, there are some genres that really require more time. Anything with fantasy, anything with prosthetics takes more time. Anything that's horror, which usually runs at night, which everybody knows people walk, people move a lot slower when, when, when you're working late at night. So those things affect uh, the number of working hours. That's why we are espousing that we maintain 16 hours. I think that's a sweet spot for everybody. 16 hours period, according to my according to Mr. Manimor. Plan extension. We, our only clarification, and I think this is going to be in the technical working group already, is that we cannot, we cannot even if we want to start from the first person on set to the last person on set, we have to consider that if a director has 16 hours of work, there will be people working before the director arrives. So it cannot be counted. Because you, otherwise, what will happen is we come from the first person on that and the director is only working for 10 hours now because there's six hours of preparation before the director comes or whatever. So that's why we are espousing that we become a bit more flexible. The goal here is that each person should work a maximum of 16 hours. Yes. It would be better for us if it's from roll time because then we can shoot a lot more. Time. Roll from the time the camera start rolling. However, we right. do acknowledge that there are individuals whose work starts a lot earlier, as for instance pointed out by location managers. They arrive much earlier than, call, than the roll time. The people who pull out the camera equipment work a lot earlier than the roll time. So that's why we think that there's a lot more discussion that should happen when we go into the details. Usually po kasi sa pelikula, then... Um, I don't know po if Mr. Coco Martin specified if the 12 hours he mentioned included the setup and the, the set down no shooting nila per day. Did he, did pag grind he, ng camera. Ah, pag grind. Um, ang position po ng IGA talaga, ang nalulugi yung below the line, uh, to use the technical term, um, kasi sila yung nauna sa set. We also recognize the fact that um, if we consider the per hour um, time of each crew member, then that would also um, bloat the budget, so to speak. If we are to uh, um, if we are to a lot for shifts in the production set, just to maximize then the day for the shooting, but. Overall, hindi rin naman po usually ang nangyayari sa pelikula as mentioned by uh, Direct Percy. One unit lang talaga usually in any movie set. Kaya um, to give due recognition to already the efforts of every person once they step onto the location. Um, it is our recommendation na kasama from the first man on set to the last man out. Hindi na nga po namin sinama yung travel time. Ay, hindi nyo sinama. Alright, so pagdating sa set, pag kumarang call time ng mga artista, 6 o'clock in the morning, syempre ma maaga yung mga crew doon, mas mauna yung mga crew doon. Syempre yung set up pa. Correct? Pag dumating ang mga crew ng alas 5 ng umaga, kasi 6 o'clock or 1 hour before the uh, 
call time. So, dapat umalis sila ng 10 o'clock, ano, 11. 11 o'clock ng gabi. Yeah. Oh, tama ba? po yan kasi most productions, they provide transportation. So, yung depende po sa sunduan ng services. But it's usually may house to house. Yeah. Oo, mga two hours before at least yung first man. Kasi sila pa rin yung huling aalis sa set eh. Opo, para okay. mag-click. Okay. Tapat na yun ako malis. Kasi mag, mag ano, babaklas pa sila kung ano, ano babaklas nila ron. So, anong, what is your recommendation? 16 po, 16 maximum. Po maximum. So, yung flexibility po um, would be per production na lang how to maximize that 16 hours every day. Period. No <laughs> overtime pay. Yes. Kahit pakiusapan ng producer, baka pwede additional 2 hours, bigyan ka lang namin ng... Ano, so, um, as far as IJS could... Usually, ganyan naman nangyayari. In, internal... Uh, ano pag-uusap nilang between the producers and yung mga suppliers. Yes, Kay Mar Pista, minsan pinakikiusapan yan eh. Yes, sir. Opo. Diba? I minsan, think even 10 okay, suppliers... Ibawa, naka-16 hours sa steer, so... Tirso Cruz Tapos meron Meron pang isang Eksena na Na hindi pa natatapos so, Eh gusto nang umalis Si Tirso Cruz Kasi 16 16 hours na Tapos pakikiusapan Ang producer Baka pwede yung isang eksena pa Eh kung mag walk out Yung artista Paano Dinabitin Di ba? So Pag nilalagay natin Sa batas 16 hours at pag umalis ang pag natapos ang pag nandun na yung pag nakapagtrabaho na isang artista na 16 hours obligado na silang umalis unless pakiusapan sila ng producer kaya meron mga artista ganun pag sinabi sa bata 16 hours alis na sila regardless kung meron pa silang big scene or whatever um, it's very rare na yung artista po yung na pinakamatagal if anything they would be the um, the the group of people okay. na eh, yung mga bilang workers Apa. pag na, natap, na, nakapagtrabaho na sila 16 hours tapos meron po natitira malaki eksena kung pali sila di pangkat na rin shooting opo hmm. yun, yun po yung recommendation ng IGA hindi another additional burden sa producers yan dahil kung meron naghihintay na big scene Tapos nakapagtrabaho na ng 16 hours, syempre alis na yun, pagod na yung mga tao. Yes. Um, good morning po, I'm Anne Monzon, President of Lupa ng Pilipinong Cinematograph po, which is the Cinematographers Guild. Um, under us po yung lighting and camera department, which hmm. constitutes a lot of the workers on set. Um, I hope I can rep in a way, although they're not organized, I hope I can speak for them as their department head. Kami po yung department heads nila. Um, in the case po na pin... Na Sir, Senator, um, while mas maaga nga po dumadating, pinakamaaga po dumarating yung production design, art department. So, um, by the IJA call of 16 hours only, hard stop, it will count, as we already mentioned earlier, the first person in and the last person out. Whether or not ma fulfill, uh, that is, it doesn't matter how long any of the other departments work within those 16 hours. Sana po, nasa batas, 16 lang, hard stop for the last person, whoever it is who leaves on set. So, kung ang artista po ay kinailangan lang ng 12 hours, Thank you po, pakap na po sila. Pero yung unit po namin na magsiseta pa po, nagsishoot pa po kami minsan ng mga close-up, ng mga kamay, ng mga puno, mga establishing shots. Yung mga tao po namin, and then yung mga tao po ng art department na magsiset down pa po after pa po nung aming technical team, sana po, pasok po lahat, saklaw po dun sa 16 hours, and wala na pong negotiations after that, the overtime po sana will be something that is contractually agreed upon on a case-to-case -case or a per-project basis. Depende po if a person or a unit or whoever is involved in the project wants to set the, set the time at 12 hours or 14 hours and then overtime after that. But 
all in all, one work day for everybody should stop at 16 hours. Okay, thank you. Yes, ding dong. Uh, pandagdag lang po. Um, since we are in the creative industry, sa totoo lang po yung, uh, yung mga performers, um, mas marami pong oras ang pahinga namin versus yung mga mas maraming tao sa set na literally and figuratively mas mabibigat at uh, mas malalaki ang binubuhat. Um, kung doon po sa tanong na kung pakiusapan ay papayag ba mag -exend? I am pretty sure papayag at papayag po. Uh, because sabi nga in the, in the industry, because we are in the creative industry, we won't stop until we get the job done. Kaya it is our hope na meron po talagang kahit papaano framework sa pamamagitan ng batas na ito na pwede nating balikan. Kasi with, kung, kung sa uh, pakiusapan, sigurado papayag at papayag. Pero kung meron po tayong sinasandalan, at least may basihan po. And, um, You're talking about the artist. Papayagat po, papayagat po. Okay, uh, kahit, oh, po, everyone po eh, everyone. Uh, Including those. Um, uh, kami po ay papayag, di siyempre lahat po damay-damay na. So, gusto po namin um, yung protection na to, yung 16 hours, kung ano po mang number yon. In fact, wag lang po sanang mabalik sa dahating practice. Whatever the committee agrees on is a win for us. Uh, para lang uh, across the board, mula sa um, first person in or any person part of the crew across the board, uh, whether artista po man or crew or staff, ay uh, ma 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 maproteksyonan itong uh, working hours po na ito. You may know what was the pre previous practice before? Iba-iba po. <laughs> Gusto niyo po ba yung best and worst <laughs> naming lahat? <laughs> Chair? Yeah. I mean, um, ang max ko po po yata ay umabot ng 36 or... 36 more. hours straight? Yes, palipat-lipat po ng location. 36 hours? Opo. Ano ito, TV or shooting? TV po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. I mean, walang pahinga, walang tulog. Yes. Ay, chair. Yeah, yeah. Sa, ang magiging pahinga po ay kung halimbawa bumaklas, travel, kasi... Uh, depende po yun. I think I've experienced that to my experience. You have the 36 hours mo, artista. Artista. Artista lang. So yun. Ako po yun. So, artista 36 hours. What more yung mga mga crew? Exactly. Mga production designer. Mas matagal yun. Kaya po, ang... Kaya po yun talaga ang hinihiling namin na ang ang dating nakagawian ay iiwan na natin sa nakaraan. So, 36 hours is a... Yes po, Che. Ang bayad sa inyo isang araw? Yes po. Ang inang yan. Sorry. Strike off the record yung... <laughs> Sir, may huling uh, pandagdag na lang po. Um, eh, totoo po yan, may mga gandong uh, realities po on the ground. Um, Pero, <laughs> yes. oh, pero ito pong mga uh, pinopropose namin ay base sa mga best practices. Dahil napatunayan po na it is possible na kung ganito po ang ating window ay merong decent amount of creative output for as long as efficient po ang lahat at, nagka, at nagkakasundo. Yung sinabi po ni uh, Mr. Coco Martin, totoo po yan, na posible po yan, at maganda pa rin ang kinalalabasan, everybody is uh, safe and happy across the board. Even the 16 hours has basis na it has been done. In fact, nung pandemic po, mas, mas naging very, 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 very strict po ang lahat. At nagkakaroon, nag, nagkaroon din naman po ng mga magandang output. Although, syempre, pag uh, mas hinabaan pa natin yan, mas, mas marami pa po tayo magagawa. So, again, ang point ko lang po, yung these recommendations are based on the best practices na po pwede po siyang mangyari kahit na may mga limitasyon pong ganito. Thank you, Dingdong. Uh, rest assured, itong 36 hours hindi mangyayari under this bill. No? If we have this, uh, uh, if this law will be, in, if this bill will be enacted in the law, sisiguraduhin natin walang ganyan na mangyayari. Katulad ng sinabi ni Isa, uh, yung nakaraan, iwanan na natin sa nakaraan. Yes, direct. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I think yung ano kasi, yung 16 hours that is being considered, ano yun eh, yung nga hard stop yun, maximum. Uh, wala nang overtime that's being considered in that proposal beyond the 16. The only the only overtime that's being considered, at least just IGA, uh, majority proposal no is is uh, is is uh, work time between 14 hours and 16 pero beyond 16 hard stop na yon tigil lahat kahit anong i mean that's the proposal kasi nga that's the way to balance it kasi para workers welfare at the same time 
magandang magawa yung pelikula. At the same time, there, you know, there's a, uh, mapatapos ng producer in enough shooting days na hindi naman siya malulog eh. So we're trying to balance everything in with that, with the, with that, you know, with that 16 hours. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Derek. You know, yun siya sa, isa yun siya sa 36 hours. Uh, kasi, uh, I'm really bothered. Share, yes. Pag 36 it's hours, straight sa okay. trabaho, iba na ang mukha mo nun eh. Agad na. Iba na reaction mo sa pag-arte. Gusto niyo. Maganda nun, medyo, maganda ka pa naman, pero, pag ng 36 hours na walang tumor, tapos sa arte ka, crying scene or whatever, maapektuhan din yung... Apo, uh, gusto niyo pong magbigay po ako ng isang hemplo. Hindi ko na po sasabihin kung anong... Ano production? Itago sa pangalang... Uh, sa production eh. Personally lang po, nangyari po ito. Pagtatapos po ng isang serye namin, uh, pagod na pagod na po kaming lahat, umabot po kami noon ng next day na, parang second day, magto two days straight kami noon, ang tulog na po namin sa set. 9 a.m. po, hindi pa tapos yung first day namin. Nakunan po ang eksena. Hanggang sa natapos, nung nag edit na po ang direktor, tumawag sa akin, Isadora, natutulog ka sa eksena. Sabi niya. Nakunan po. Inaantok po ako, gumaganito po ako. Hindi, wala pong nakakita. Assistant director, cameraman, director. Nobody saw it. Makeup artist. Because everybody was sleepy. Everybody was no longer in the right frame of mind. Every, everyone was tired. Ako, it looked funny. Pero sa totoo po, hindi nakakatawa. Kasi po, kalusugan natin lahat yun. Kaya po tayo nandito. Dahil, ang, what is at stake? It is really our health. And while we're young, we can take it. But the older we get, the less money sometimes we are given. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> may nagre-react po. Sorry. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I agree, I agree. Whether it is on the body. So, yun po. Kaya po tayo nandito. Um, so, yun po. Tama po yung sinabi nyo. Hindi lang po sa hindi maganda. I mean, that is the least of my concerns kapag walang tulog. Yun po ay... Am I still functioning as a basic human being? Nakatulog po ako sa isang eksena ng hindi ko alam at hindi nakita ng ibang tao sa paligid ko. Yun lang po. Mas mahal pa yung hospitalization expenses mo kaysa sa bayad sa'yo. Yes po. Actually po, nung nagka-COVID din ako, uh, nung March 2020, I was admittedly working on three different sets, but it was from a lack of sleep. At kaya po, alam ko po na malaki ang... Uh, lack of sleep, malaki po ang tama sa immune system. And I think the uh, producers are well aware of it dahil marami ng casualty sa, sa film industry. Marami na tayo mga director, mga ibang mga crew, artista na namatay dahil nga because of uh, overwork and overfatigue dito sa ating uh, industry. Yes, Les. Uh, good morning. Anyway, uh, matagal na usapin ito. Uh, and I think doon na dito at naglabas na sila ng department order. According to study, uh, yung, ang mag, yung efficiency ng performance or ng trabaho ng isang worker ay hanggang 12 oras lang. Pero, dahil nga Ang batas natin, ang 8 hours constitute today, pero dahil naiiba yung industriya natin, kaya pwede tayo magtrabaho hanggang 12 oras. Okay. Uh, nakalagay sa department order na uh, dahil nga may namatay. Uh, example, si Ben Veramas. At uh, dahil doon, uh, nag-set na talaga sila, meron department ang dole, na nag-aaral dahil sa kalusugan natin. Uh, at kaya ang usapin na hanggang 16 hours, maximum ang pwedeng itrabaho, pero huwag naman lalampas doon dahil sabi nga ng dole, akala ko ba health ang pinag-uusapan natin. 
So, uh, nag-set naman ang uh, yung house version, yung, uh, yung house bill number 1270 na ang working hours ay 8 to 12 but you can work uh, na may, uh, may overtime pay hanggang 16 hours. Yun ang maximum. Okay? Kaya, Uh, base doon sa pag-aaral ng dole at meron ang nakasulit yan meron department order na uh, doon nakalagay yung uh, health and safety standards na dapat natin uh, sundan uh, ang position ko naman uh, as I've said during the last session at nung sa mga private uh, consultation natin, na i-adapt na lang natin yung house bill number 1270. At yung position ng mga producers na pwede silang mag hanggang 16 hours ay masusunod pa rin naman. Kasi yung 12 hours ay hindi kasama doon yung meal time. So gumalabas, magiging 14 hours doon. At kung isasama mo yung egress, ingress, egress, eh aabog yun ng 16 hours. So, para sa akin, eh mag-stick na lang tayo dun sa uh, house version dahil win-win solution yun. Masusunod yung gusto ng producer at yung gusto ng mga workers. At uh, ang isa pa, yung sekreto kasi, uh, Mr. Chair, dapat yung kukunin mga producers, yung mga workers na marunong mag-preprob na hindi kayo nagsasayang ng oras sa set. Para pagdating, pa i-schedule ka kung kailang kakailangan para hindi na kayo magbayad ng overtime. So, uh, at ang working time applies to everybody. Hindi lang para sa artista. Yes. At, uh, Uh, Mr. Chair, for your information, minsan yung ibang natin mga artista ay nakatali sa isang kontrata, sa isang network na pinilaman nila na kahit na umabot ng 18 hours ang trabaho, hindi sila dapat magreklamo kasi nakalagay sa kontrata nila. So, pag maging batas itong working hours natin, ay mapapawalang bisa yung kontrata nila because it will go against the Mr. Chair. Ang nangyari kay dito, Eddie, na, ano yun, natisod lang eh. Dahil because maraming mga kable. But that's considered as a minor accident. Kasi pag sa crew lang nangyari yun, minor lang yun. Dahil si Eddie Garcia na natisod, eventually namatay, naging major accident. Tama. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, with all due respect, um, we we uh, uh, hindi po uh, that, that is not how we operate, Mr. Chair. Um, in fact, Mr. Chair, ano po? Eh, um, uh, it is unfortunate that in the long history of GMA, si uh, si uh, si Manoy lang po ang talagang kwan eh, ang uh, 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 death na nangyare sa set po ng GMA. So uh, we're really um, uh, pero We, we we have to say for the record Mr. Chair that um kung uh, kahit sino po na miyembro ng crew yun, of course we will attend to him we will bring him to the hospital like, the reason why I I said that it was a minor accident kasi siguro kasalanan din ng mga ibang kuya na bakit kasi nakalawit ito mga kable dun sa daanan ng ng eksena no kasi for me, that was a really minor accident that turned into a major accident because the one involved is Eddie Garcia. Kasi kung ordinary yung tao lang, hindi si Eddie Garcia lang yan, hindi si Eddie Garcia yan, hindi niya mapapansin eh, hindi may headline yan eh. Correct? Am I correct? Di ba? So siguro, Siguro, all, hindi lang man sa GMA7, siguro sa lahat ng ating mga producers, siguro pag-ingatan din yung mga dadaanan eksena ng mga artista, kahit yung mga, kahit yung mga crew. Over. 
every time na nasa set, magsasign ng waiver? Ganon? Uh, yeah. Kasi, if we, kunwari, nasa batas na six, maximum of 16 hours, ang trabaho, director, artista, mga senior citizen, ano nga susundin natin? Mr. Chairman, Sula, yung, yung nasa batas na 8 hours. Okay. Mr. Chairman, kailangan kasi, uh, nakalagay dun sa house version, magkikreate ng tripartite na mag-discuss dun sa mga detalye. So, I, I also expect the Senate version dapat magkaroon din ng uh, kailangan mag-create ng tripartite council to discuss the details of all the yung uh, batas na na ipasa. Or Is ipapasa. it possible for us to discuss it right now? Why are we going to put put under the law the tripartite council doon pa lang mag ano doon pa lang didiscuss na ano anong mangyayari sa mga senior citizen kung kung ilang oras sila magtatrabaho i don't get that sir buddy yeah may may basic yes. okay uh, through my experience from the past kasi talaga matagal na ako ang mga ibang senior citizen talaga nagse-set ko sila ng time limit nila regardless of how long uh May 12 midnight, I'll go home, finish or not finish. Meron po silang ganoon. But, nung po sa tinatanong na po, senior citizen, in one of the, I think, the discussion that I attended, ang ibig sabihin po ng 8 hours nila, correct me if I'm wrong, the 8 hours of work nila is encompassed to the uh, 12 hours regulation. Meaning po, uh, uh, 8 hours po, yung working limit talaga nila. Hindi po, you don't consider them under the 16 hours or the 13 hours. Kung sa 12 hours of work of uh, acting people, uh, 8 lang sila. So, dapat po yan uh, nakapaloob dun sa number of hours na yan. People? Yes, gusto uh, lang that uh, as we have all uh, talked about it, we have a very peculiar industry kasi ibang klase yung itatrabaho natin and I guess we have due respect sa Dole yung data hours is referred to yung mga tumapasok sa opisina on a daily basis kasi tayo hindi nga kami pumapasok sa opisina but again I would like to encourage uh, all stakeholders concerned to please be united as one and uh I will, we will have another consultation probably by November when I submit my committee report uh, before the uh, plenary uh, dito sa Senate.